These are Graptiveria purple delight, also known as Graptiveria crystal. They are quick and fast and easy to grow. In this video, I'd like to show you an easy way of propagating your purple delight. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. These are just some of the Graptiveria Purple Delight that was started off from one plant. One single rosette. And this is a Graptiveria Crystal. Gorgeous. And that's a mother plant. And also now this is the baby. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So anyway, I should probably turn that. Oh, hang on. Do I have more in the back now? That's all. So frost hardy and heat tolerant as well. Now this plant I bought with the name Graptiveria Purple Delight. And this plant has been maltreated, had been abused. <laughs> so I haven't been looking after this plant. Well, put it this way. I have intentionally not look after it just to see how it would go. So this is now three years old. Well, over three years old. And it it's all long and gangly. And this one here, I just cut that off recently because it was growing from this stem here. And you can see that that stem has dried up. And there you go. And so now this one has gone elongated but then I might as well remove this because propagating them is quite easy so this one has just been sitting here look I already pulled off the roots look how cute that is so this has been sitting here for at least about two months and that's the growth it has in two months just sitting on top of the dirt it will crawl itself into the soil and grow and basically root up and grow so hang on this one now since I've chopped it off it also showed some more little bumps or pimples coming out of there little babies about to pop out so this one now is a little bit too long as well and so I just chopped that off and I'm gonna put it here now this plant I haven't propagated whatever you see in this container here is what it is so I've had this longer than my crystal that you saw earlier which is basically the same plant so this one has been grown in the shade protected not uh probably hasn't seen sun okay i'll show you where i grow this one so this is my 50 percent uv zone area which means i've got a shade cloth in here so that's one and then now this one has been growing either down in the bottom there under the shelf and then at one stage I put it, I grew it over there and then it got really, really long. And after that, I transferred it over to that side there where it grew up the top here, out in the open <laughs> and put it out there when it was winter. And then I put it back here, down under there. And that's where it's been growing for the last few months at least three months okay and as you can see this is now about three o'clock in the afternoon and that's the only time it gets some sunlight and whatever the sun hits is the healthiest one so this plant loves the sun this is my grub Graptiveria crystal. This is grown in my 50% UV shade cloth area and the only light it receives is the bright light filtered by my shade cloth basically. So it doesn't get morning sun, afternoon sun <laughs> or any sun so it's basically in the shade just about all day long and yet look at the color. Now I'm going to take this and compare this one with the one in the garden. Now can you see where the pot starts and where it ends? Now if I remove this, 
There you go. So the color is very similar to the ones that's in the garden. So you can see that these ones are just growing so well out here in the sun. They love the sun and it's even flowering at the moment. Look how gorgeous the flower is. It's almost like an orchid with the pattern. Now this area here, I have a few that I actually threw in there. This is last winter, July or something. And I just want to see if they have grown. When I say throw in there, it's like leaves that I've... Because I did a video of this one a few months ago. Hang on, I am killing... <laughs> I can see a baby in there. Come here. Can you baby? Oh, I just lost a leaf. Okay, so this one has been struggling because it doesn't have any roots. It can't go into the soil and grow roots. So maybe it had roots before, but probably broken off from the mother leaf. Maybe that's a mother leaf. Anyway, I'm just going to stick it in there and let it grow in there. But over here are ones that I've broken off before. And they have taken roots and even here, look, oops, this actually, I hit this the other day when I was working in here. So this has now grown some roots as well, but I'm just going to take this out. And also I might as well take that one as well. Very easy to propagate. It's just a matter of getting the leaves and throwing it anywhere. And where it lands, it grows, basically. And even if you drop it in the concrete, they will still grow. And of course, provided... Oh, hang on. This one, look, it's flowering. And it's actually broken. And that's been broken a few months ago. You can see that the stem has colored off. It's already dried off. And look at that. So now we're going to put you in the box here. And look, babies. So propagation of Graftoberia purple delight is very easy. Normally I would say step one, take some leaves. Step two, put it on a piece of paper towel and let it germinate. Step three, wait for the babies to germinate and grow roots. And once it has roots, plant them in. In the case of purple delight, you can do whatever you like. You can throw it in there, they will grow and the stem as well grow some pups. You can see those pups in there or hang on or do as i did this is the best way i find hang on i'm looking for babies okay another one here look that's just been sitting on the soil again the root is barely touching the soil and still is growing that's already uh, some bark now i'll put it in my container here and see if look at those babies there see there you go they will just grow on their own, very easy to propagate. And we do get frost, and I actually threw them in here in winter. And they have survived, and look at this one. Look at that. Oh, look. See? Look at that, it's got three heads. So it's got three, he is that two heads? I can't see. Yes, three heads. <laughs> so this one has got one, two, three. Are you going to have four? Yes, four heads. Now see, there's a little bit of root in the bottom there, so I can take that and plant it. And we'll get some more. Oh, that one, I just pull it off. There you go. You can see there's even like a white root growing from that one. Have you got more babies for me? Now those are cuttings, so I have to leave them there and not touch them. I'm just uh, uh, merely harvesting the babies. So, <laughs> this is how I propagate my purple delight. Those ones are also cuttings over there. So eventually, if I step back here, from one plant that was shown on the first part of this video, this is how much is grown so you have to treat them mean to keep them keen <laughs> and they just thrive if you look after them and pamper them and protect them then they don't seem to grow so anyway that's all for now now this one
I'm going to repot this and put it in a pretty pot and do a cluster of Graptoveria, Purple Delight, also known as Crystal. I'm also taking off this one here because even if that grows, that's just going to get covered and it's just going to suffer. So best to chop chop it as a cutting. It is so cute. Look at that. Gorgeous. Nice and fat. Now, I'm just going to... Oh, there's more in there. So those ones as well. Anything that's hiding or whatever, I'm just going to feel my way through and see if I can... I can't even see it. Oopsie. Yes. Another cutting. This is the best way to propagate them. So if you have one plant, try and grow those plants from a leaf. And where you have them growing, say in a pot, harvest a leaf and then just lay it there and just wait. Well, a leaf or two, it's better to have backup. And once it grows, throw it in the garden and watch it explode. So this area, this is now 18, 19, 20, so almost four years I've had this plant. But look how much I had, but I barely... Uh, been propagating as well. So all I was doing is just harvesting the leaves and throwing them in and I haven't even done anything, any propagation like what I'm doing now. So to me this is the best way and look in the bottom there. Hiding underneath. See them babies? You can't even see them but I'm best taking them off because it's not doing them any favor. They're just gonna slow down like the Graptivaria purple delight in the pot okay so oh there's more there's more and of course any leaf except that's a dry one any leaf that's been knocked off or taken off you can grow like this one's here waste not want not okay that one there is on the side, so I'm going to leave that to grow outwards. This one is going to grow into here, but might as well give it some helping and harvest it. So anyway, that's, that's it for this video, guys. And I'm just going to continue and look for more babies. Oh, look at me. I'm so enthralled right now it's like oh i can't believe this and then also over there look i just threw those leaves in there i don't know if you can see that because it's sort of hot sun those two babies hiding there under the log i just threw them in there and now they're growing